Welcome to Air Chamber, the ultimate way to store your classic car, motorbike or household goods. Twin long life fans propel 50,000 litres of air each hour, helping to dry the air and prevent corrosion or mildew forming. And electrostatic filters ensure a dust and dirt free environment. Air Chamber's unique semi rigid frame allows instant accessibility through its three openings. Easily erected, Air Chamber is available in six sizes to suit motorbikes to limousines. Air Chamber. It's much less trouble than a bubble. <laughs> Buying a car. We all know the scene. There are so many choices. Yet the car you drive away is just like so many others. But that special car can still be found. Complete, no doubt, with a few problems under the paintwork, they may prove just that little bit more demanding. But despite those nagging thoughts, often a more interesting choice. Oh, all right then, as long as you look after it. And the air chamber does just that. Yes, the most effective and complete protection process for any motor car. The air chamber from Airflow. Delivered by courier, collected or mail order from selected airflow distributors, air chambers are supplied with full instructions and a neat matching hold all. The assembly process is straightforward and one person following the instructions will take about an hour to complete the job. Unpack the air chamber, placing the bag of poles and instructions to one side. Unroll the air chamber and remove all the packing paper and separate the folded sections so the air can flow easily into the chamber when the fans are switched on. Then place the bag of poles inside the air chamber. Once everything is spread out, plug in the transformer and switch on the fans. But first make sure the fans are not lying flat on the floor as this will increase the time taken to inflate. Both fans are connected internally, so either may be plugged in. Once the fans are running, the air chamber will take about 30 minutes to inflate. So time for a cup of tea. With the air chamber fully inflated, make sure the structure is fully stretched out, and then climb in, taking care to zip up behind you. Check the instructions and place the poles out separately. Gold, vertical uprights. Silver, top poles. Anthracite, base poles. The eight corner joiners are different top to bottom. The top joiners have an angle of 105 degrees, which is placed from the vertical to the longitudinal side. With the base fully stretched out, you are now ready to put in the poles. Start with the longitudinal base poles and feed them through the loops in the base. Fit the joining section in the corner prior to joining the poles in the center. It's easier to fit them with no pressure on the pole. There's a pair of poles for each side, which join within the central loop in the middle of the door. Fit the first pole into the corner and through the central loop. To fit the second pole through the central loop, split it at the join nearest the center and stretch the inner elastic and join the two parts together. The poles will appear too long. This is because the base is yet to be fully stretched. Grip the pole firmly, stretch apart and join together. With the base poles in place, now fit the roof poles. These are fitted in the same way as the base. The vertical poles are the hardest to fit, so start with the four required by the central doors, as these are the easiest. The four corners are more difficult. Feed the vertical poles up from the bottom and pull the two roof poles down and join to the vertical pole. Then push the joiner with the vertical pole as far as possible into the roof. Now stand on the base joiner and lift the pole into place. The vertical pole will bend 
as you have to lift it higher to fit into the joiner. Last of all, fit the two roof poles above the door. Eventually, the filters will need cleaning, so turn off the power and remove the plug from the fan. Remove the filter cover and the nylon gauze filter. The gauze may be washed or shaken to remove the dirt. Simply replace the filter over the fan and push the cover back in place, ensuring that the filter is secure before switching the fan back on. The frequency of this cleaning process clearly depends on the amount of dust in the garage. Now's the time to drive your car inside the air chamber and let the protection process begin. The air chamber's neat little fans efficiently circulate air throughout your car, ensuring that it stays clean and dry inside and out. And of course, with such a sturdy structure, many useful checks and routine maintenance can be carried on inside the air chamber. And thanks to the air chamber's clever design, it's quick and easy to get out and about with the comforting knowledge that the ultimate protection process is ready and waiting for your return.